Hello again, and welcome back to the card math. Hang on, I'm missing something. Did you notice that I'm missing something? Yeah, are we doing another one of them invisible tricks? I don't think so. No, I'm going to show you a trick which I've seen on another channel. I did. Uh, called Trinity. Yeah, and Trinity, I've got a big surprise for you, fella. A big surprise for you. Look at that. Hey, don't do me for copyright. But I've done a box for you. How do you like that, mate? Look at that. Yeah. Done you a box. So, this is a trick that I've seen, as I say, on Trinity. Go check him out. Go sub to him. Crack a fella. Yeah, it's not his fault he's from Birmingham. Anyway, only, only messing, mate. It's only messing. Right. We'll start off by shuffling the packet. As you can see, it is getting shuffled. Right, yeah, I know Trinity, your eyes are over there, aren't they, mate? Right, now, I'm going to make um, a couple of predictions. Why not? Let's make a couple of, couple of predictions. Uh, I think I'll take that card straight away. I'll take that card. I think I'll take that card. Yeah. So I'm going to take these three cards as my little predictions, right? Now, you, as the spectator, can cut that packet wherever you like. So you want to cut it right there. Right? What I'll do is I'll get this packet and I'll turn it all facing up and put that packet on the top here, all facing down. So we've got facing downy ones on the bottom, which are now facing up and them ones there. so they're all mixed up right now we can give the packet a cut bang like that and we can give the pack another cut bang like that i say we give the packet another cut bang like that right all gone and done now now i made three predictions at the start didn't i yeah now we need to prove whether or not i'm actually right right well we're not going to take that card because you can see it that would have been classed as cheating we can't see that card, so we'll take that one. And we can't see this one. So we'll just keep going and keep going and keep going and keep going and keep going. There we go. We'll take that lot there. And obviously, I can't do anything else because they're all facing up now. So we're left with that one. So, at the start, I made three predictions. That was that one, that one, and that one. Then we've done a little bit of cutting and cutting and cutting and... Well, you seen, didn't you? What did we end up with? We ended up with a Queen of Hearts. We ended up with a Seven of Diamonds. And obviously, we ended up with the Two of Clubs. Right. Now, what did we end up with here? How about the Queen of Diamonds, the Soulmate? No, you're waiting for till the end, are you? Second one. The Seven of Hearts, the Soulmate. It's still nothing from you. Well, you know that's a two of clubs. It's got to be two of spades then. Yeah. So, yeah. And there you go. Nice one, Trinity. Great trick. Didn't confuse me one little bit. Unlike most of your others, which totally wrecked me head. I could work that one out. Only because, only because you give a clue. You said it was self-working. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it is. It's self-working. That's how I got to figure it out. Right. Would you like to see how I figured it out and how you do it? I guess you would, wouldn't you? Yeah. It is completely impromptu. There's no setup. As you can see, the pack gets shuffled. Then when you're taking your three predictions, you what you're going to be doing is looking at the top two cards and the bottom card, right? So in this case, my bottom card is the three of clubs. And my top cards are the eight of diamonds and the ace of diamonds. So I am now looking for the other red eight, red ace, black three. Red eight, red ace, black three, right? I start looking through the packet. Red eight, red ace, and black three. Red eight, red ace, and black three. Black three, black three. Remember in this order, the top card's number one, second card's number two, and that's number three, so it's one, two, and three, going from the top of the deck, if you like. So, you want them in that order as you put them down. I've found the three first. That's the third card. That can go down there. Now I'm looking for the red eight or a red ace. I found the red ace. The red ace is the second card, so that's got to go in the middle. And now I look for the red eight, and that's the top card, so that's number one. 
If I would have found them the other way around, if I would have found the red eight first, I would have put that down there and then put the ace in the middle. That way you get them in order, right? Then you get your spectator to cut the packet anywhere that they want to. So they cut the packet. You get that packet and turn it over, right? And put the other packet on the top. And then in some kind of a shady little move, what you're going to do is just turn the packet over. Yeah. Then you cut the packet and cut the packet into the, the facing down. Whether or not it works due to way, I don't know, but don't chance it. Cut it into the facing down cards. And when you cut it again, make sure you cut again, either into them ones at the bottom or into them face down on the top, right? Now, when you cut again, you want to cut in the middle of your face up cards and you can see where the gaps are. I mean, look, there's one break there. And as you can see, sticking out like a sore thumb, there's the other break. So you just make sure you cut in between the face up cards and the jobs are good. You then say you're not going to use none of the face up cards because you can see them, but you're going to take that one and you put that there. And with any luck, what card did we have first? The Eight of Diamonds. That should be Eight of Hearts, even. That should be the Eight of Diamonds. And you put it down. Now, that one which you can't see is going to be the next one, which is going to be the Ace of Diamonds. Because you had. Yeah. So you just go through till you get to the next face up card. And you go, well, we can't do nothing about that. They're all here. Yada, yada, yada. And you put them down. Then you go, right, what cards did we come to? We got an Eight of Diamonds, we got an Ace of Diamonds, we got a Three of Clubs. What did we get there? We got the Eight of Hearts, the Soulmate. We got the Ace of Hearts, the Soulmate. We got the Three of Spades, the Soulmate. And there you go. There's how you do that trick, which Trinity put up a good while ago now. And it took me a while to do it. It has. I said to him I was going to do it, but I just had to get everything right. Go and check him out, Trinity Crackerfella. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed that. Sorry for taking a mic home, Trinity. You, you know me, I'm just having a laugh. Uh, hope you've enjoyed it anyway. Give it a go. Self working, impromptu. What more do you want? Me to come and do it for you? I don't think so. I'll see you again soon.